What's going on, people? My name is Nick, and I welcome you to another episode of the Tetra Ninja Show, Weird Weapon Edition, version 2. Uh, you probably saw my first uh, match on Wasteland, where I ran around with, a, with just a single Rafika. And today, I'm just going to be rolling around with a PP2000 and playing a TDM, obviously, on derail. And I actually went through all my old videos, and I have never posted any match on derail before <laughs> and I think that just goes to show you how much I dislike this map uh, especially in the TDM based game domination is okay because it is a clear objective but in the TDM based game what well, anytime I play this match I usually use a rushing class so and a submachine gun with lightweight marathon and it always seems that anytime I reach the other side uh, the entire t entire enemy team just gets wiped out and they respawn where I initially started. And you'd, anytime I actually play a TDM based game on this on this match, it never seems to reach the score limit. It reaches about 6,000, but uh, I get a pretty impressive score at the very end of this game that I think is the reason why it reached the full 7,500. But yeah, in a standard 6v6, like I said, uh, and the score re rarely reaches a full limit. And in this upcoming sequence, I forget that I have a claymore, and I just go to throw a Sumtex grenade, and look what I got! <laughs> and my body goes flying like 20 feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, what actually happened is I think I was playing. I forget what I was doing, why I had claymores on, but anyways, the PP2000. Uh, it's a secondary weapon, obviously, that's unlocked right away. Uh, it's origin if you want to know it's Russian and it's originally designed as a submachine gun classified as a submachine gun but you get it as a secondary and it's a pretty beast secondary I personally prefer the M93 Rafika silence but if you're in the market for all, for a fully automatic all-around submachine gun but as a secondary then the PP2000 is the, probably your best bet it has very little recoil or almost non-existent recoil and has pretty good damage rate even though there's a 20 point damage drop off it has a max damage of 40 and a minimum damage of 20 and like I said anytime you're using a silencer you can always I just assume minimum damage uh, the only really downside to it is uh, you have limited amount of ammo which is reasonable because it's supposed to be a submachine gun I uh, sorry it's supposed to be a secondary weapon so you shouldn't be using it like I am as your primary and it has a pretty small clip size at 20 rounds and when you especially if you're using a silencer that means you're probably gonna be ending about half the clip or sometimes even three quarters of a clip before you take down a guy but overall it's still pretty decent as a secondary and what I like it really like about it not only does it have very low recoil or non-existent recoil but the iron sights on it are basically perfect iron sights if you like threw these iron sights on the M16 or something, the M16 would just be a beast. But I, I personally even prefer these things, these iron sights better than the Scar, Scar's iron sights, which are also pretty awesome. And the reason I have a vector with an ACOG sight, anytime I try to use uh, a unique weapon only game, I tried to make the other weapon something that I wouldn't want to use at all. And if for some reason I died with it, no one would want to pick it up. And I don't think anyone would pick up a vector with an ACOG sight. So <laughs> that's the reasoning for that. And silence weapons, especially if you're just starting off playing Call of Duty, are, are is your best bet. Uh, a couple times in this game, for some reason, use the spawn system was off or something. And I got like th I think like three double kills this game or something like that. And basically, what happened is either the other team was camping out right behind me, and I was just in a good spot at the right time, or for some reason they respawned them behind me. And <laughs> that's basically how you want to play a silence weapon. You want it to get deep into their spawn with a silence weapon, and then unload and keep them trapped there. But it's a little bit harder on derail because usually what happens is. Once you kill a guy, they get respawned on the other side of the map, and you can either wait it out uh, or run it down with your lightweight marathon. But uh, why do that, <laughs> right? When you just kind of hold down the fort, especially if you're using a secondary weapon as a primary weapon, which is something I also don't recommend you do if you're just starting off this game. If I were to offer tips on how to play derail. Um, I would say in a team deathmatch base uh, situation, 
the C spawn or C starting spawn is a lot stronger than the A spawn is, mainly because if you're spawning the, if you're starting off in the A spawn, you basically have to run down a, a big open field where you have overlooking the, the snow field to your left, as well as this elevated building on the second floor with the glass, which people really like to hang out in. You see, I know that that's why I'm kind of like inching my way forward making sure that there's no claim was being placed down. That's usually what happens in this building. Start shooting this guy, but <laughs> this Predator missile makes sure that I don't get the kill. And he's definitely dead. And hello, this guy decides to run right up here. And like I said, generally the enemies like to hold down this building with claymores and just basically camp the entire time. Um, if you're playing a more defensive style, then I would, uh, I guess that works, that would work. It's a pretty solid strategy. But just be wary of the lightweight and marathon people who will just run right by your claymores and set them off. So keep your ears open. And if obviously if you're using claymores, then you should have scavenger just so you can continuously replace them. If you want to play a more uh, free roam style, um, like always on any type of map, stay to the outside. Don't do what I'm doing uh, like me. Uh, this guy is uh, running down the middle. The only reason I'm right now in the middle right now is because I have a Harrier in the air. Or Pavlo. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the game is about to wrap up here. Uh, I think the final score is 39 and 5, and a team deathmatch game that goes only up to 75. Yeah, uh, you don't uh, expect this to happen all the time. Like I said on derail, uh, the score limit in a team deathmatch based game rarely goes past, the, rarely reaches the score limit. And right now, I'm trying to get deep into the spawn. And like I said, I just how you want to play an SMG class usually with a silencer, but yeah. So it's, this guy almost tubes me, and anytime you, you never want to go in a fair fight with someone, so I always try to sneak up behind me and I don't make the final kill cam <laughs> uh, right in this game. So, so yeah, but overall the game was pretty good. Final score, 39-5, I think, which can't really complain about. And if you like these kind of, kind of videos, please check out my channel. The link will be in the description. And I'm always open to weapon suggestions, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.